The interior of a refrigerator, the interior of a refrigerator having inside dimensions of 0.5 meters by 0.5 meters base area and 1 meter height is to be maintained at 6 degrees Celsius. The walls of the refrigerator are constructed of two mild steel sheets, 3 mm thick, K is equal to 46.5 watts per meter degree Celsius with 50 mm of glass wool insulation, K is equal to 0.046 watts per meter degree Celsius between them. Okay, if the average heat transfer coefficients at the outer and inner surfaces are 11.6 watts per meter square degree Celsius and 14 and a half watts per meter square degree Celsius respectively, you need to calculate the rate at which uh, the rate at which heat, heat must be removed from the interior to maintain the specified temperature in the kitchen at 25 degrees Celsius and the temperature on the outer surface of the metal sheet. See, again, the, everything will be same only thing that the values have changed and the numerical has changed and rest everything will be same okay so this is again a case of a composite wall now i have been doing composite wall from uh, from uh, you can say from my uh, uh, what do you say uh, from my previous three lectures i have been doing uh, this composite wall so i hope that the concept of composite wall it it, it comes into your mind very uh, very tightly and uh, I don't think you will uh, you will now be able to forget even if you want to you won't be able to forget the concept of uh, the thermal resistance the concept of Fourier law of conduction the concept of Newton's law of convection the concept of thermal resistance when you combine these uh, convection and conduction okay and the composite wall along with the convection on both the sides so these type of numericals are very very important so i have already done about 10 to 12 numericals and i have been doing it from my first video that i have uh, that i have taken in okay so uh, let's do this so this is a mild steel sheet this is a mild steel sheet here okay this is a mild steel sheet once again to reduce the heat transfer they have introduced glass wool okay to reduce the heat transfer they have introduced glass wool and we all know that the glass wool is actually an insulator it actually obstructs the heat okay so uh, if you know time process i will tell you what is insulation but uh, till now uh, you know uh, uh, means for this time you just uh, take that the glass wool is an insulation and uh, this is how you can actually reduce the heat from here to here okay now what's happening is uh, see this everything is given L A is equals to L C okay thickness is given this is C this is A 3 mm 3 mm each L of B the thickness of glass wool insulation has also been provided okay K A is equals to K C okay means this the since they, uh, they are all uh, they both are mild steel sheets so definitely thermal conductivity is remain same okay and KB that is the thermal conductivity of the glass wool is also given we have HO that is HO is here outside surface of the refrigerator means the heat transfer coefficient for the resistance you want to calculate okay and TO that is the outside temperature you can say the ambient temperature is 25 degrees Celsius okay and ti that is the inside temperature of the refrigerator is 6 degrees celsius okay the total area through which heat is coming into the refrigerator is this one okay plus this so it is like 2.5 meter square okay so uh, how you actually got this this is this okay and what else and what else uh, they might have calculated uh, see this is like 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 2 okay and then that's the base area basically that's the base area uh, okay there's the front area and the base area okay so once you because the refrigerator is a complete enclosure so the heat is coming in from all the sides so from the top area from the base area from the front area everywhere the heat is peeping into the refrigerator okay so that's why the insulation has to be uh, insulation has to wrap all the uh, all the inside surfaces from the refrigerator otherwise there will be heat penetration and whatever you wanted to cool in the refrigerator will actually get heated up so that's a menace and that's uh, what you don't want when you have a refrigerator working at at your home okay the rate of removal of heat q the rate of removal of heat q is equals to q is equals to is the same thing c okay so it's a to minus ti 
and since you have three portions for the conduction so there are three conductive resistances and since you have an outside ambient and an inside ambient so there will be two convective resistances for both the ambient separately so see it is 1 by HO it is 1 by HF so you put all the values here see you have all the values put in you will get the 38.2 watts means this is what the heat uh, that you will calculate by simple mathematical uh, relation okay now the temperature at the outer surface of the metal sheet the temperature of the outer surface of the metal sheet is actually this is actually nothing but the convection you can actually calculate it by the convection what's happening is see uh, here there is suppose a temperature at the at the uh, at the external surface okay and here you have a temperature so it will be like t minus ti or ti right or the outer surface outer surface will be this okay so you have it here okay so it will be t minus to okay so that's pretty simple so look at it so here you go just apply the newton's law of convection and with the newton's law of convection you can calculate the uh, the temperature that is on the surface of the refrigerator i hope uh, with this numerical uh, you came to know about till now uh, i have been doing such kind of numerical for composite walls for simple brick walls for uh, including convection and conduction okay both combined so i hope uh, by this tutorial uh, you know uh, you know uh, uh, you, you must be able to understand everything because uh, this is pretty important topic uh, that i have been covering from my uh, from my past all the videos okay 